The governor's office tweeted pictures of the chief executive visiting businesses in southern Maine today, but LePage's spokespeople would not make him available to answer questions about the results of yesterday's vote. Part of a written statement the governor released this morning reads, My administration will not implement Medicaid expansion until it has been fully funded by the legislature at the levels DHHS has calculated. 59% of the vote is a strong mandate. David Farmer is the spokesman for the Medicaid expansion campaign. Right now there are hospitals who have stopped delivering babies because of financial issues. Those problems don't go away because the, the governor pounds the desk. There are real people who are impacted by this. And there are real people, the voters of the state, who stood up and said, we want more health care, not less. Federal government will pay for at least 90% of the expansion costs, but Maine still has to offer up a buy-in to trigger the federal funds. The estimated cost of the buy-in for year one is $13.6 million. How do you pay for it? Republican House Minority Leader Ken Fredette opposed Medicaid expansion. He says he will abide by the voters' decision yesterday, but is concerned about the price tag. If you want to grow government, you can grow government, but we're not going to do it by increasing taxes on hardworking Maine people or taking money out of the rainy day fund. Farmer and Democrats in the legislature are warning the governor and Republicans not to meddle with yesterday's decision. If the Department of Health and Human Services drags its feet, we will hold them accountable. If the governor fails to implement this law, we will see him in court. Right now, Medicaid expansion is set to become law 45 days after the legislature reconvenes in January. After that, the state has 90 days to notify the federal government, and those 70,000 affected Mainers could start receiving new health care coverage by August 2018. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8. All right.